in our next session, we're going to look at some of the customized apps or maybe some of the more advanced things you have in the Mixed Panel. And we'll start by looking at JQL. Right? JQL is effectively Mixed Panel SQL uh, option, uh, but it's JavaScript wrapped with SQL. Uh, at the starting point, I'm actually I always have questions why Mixed Panel built out JQL or why you know why they built out, why they created JQL uh, instead of just using SQL. Uh, but nonetheless, it's there. Uh, the main purpose here is to give you an option to to work with the the raw data, the, the raw mixed panel data, and run reports that are just not supported by any of the built-in reports. So really, if there's something that that you care about and that you that you want to use, uh, this this would be the place where where you do it, right? If you look at uh, a query here, you know we have uh, you, you need to know JavaScript, but you know we have a JavaScript function. There's a few specific things here, uh, specific uh, objects that makes on the has. You know some of the people objects we can filter through things by uh, people properly user attributes, and then we return uh, something. So it's really a JavaScript function with some very specific things uh, for this uh, mixed panel data and the way of pulling it. The documentation for JQL is, is really quite good. Uh, so if, that's, if, if it's something that you're learning, you, you, you can learn it, right? And then when we finish, we can just run the query, and then we get some kind of data format at the bottom, right? We can take that as a JSON or as a table, <clears throat> typically export it, and we probably want to do something else with it, uh, and so on. So really handy. Really, it's a really great, uh, I think, in theory. In a lot of companies, especially if a company has data analysts, they worry. They say, "Hey, great insights and funnels. That's great. It'll probably cover a lot of the use cases. But I might have very specific questions that I want to run. How can I do that? Right? What's the best way for me to give me, you know, give me the most flexible option? And that's really where something like SQL is offered. Say, so, "Hey, here's SQL. You can do whatever you can imagine with SQL." As long as you're able to, you know, create those queries yourself. So that's really what the purpose here. But because it's not SQL, uh, one barrier is with companies is they uh, they have to learn it. Uh, so developers look at that and say, I don't know if I want to learn it. I might as well just, you know, export the data into a data warehouse and run SQL on it, right? Uh, that might be a better long-term solution instead of me learning a new language uh, for running for running queries, right? And, and that's that's been something I've seen I've seen I've seen with uh, with clients. So interesting. Uh, I, don't, I actually don't think it makes sense any plans to change it to SQL. Uh, it's likely they, they're still going to use their own JQL option. But if they do, I could see that also being a, a popular replacement and a more standard way of, of analyzing raw data.